Hey guys, this is Rob again, and uh, yeah, in this part we want to talk, I'm going to be talking about uh, thinking outside the box, but it has to be a new way, it's a new world, it's a new way of doing things, all kinds of things are going to be happening in the near future, and we need to find a way to work it out and figure out what's best for all of us. So anyways, here's to uh, thinking outside the box and, the new, and what I believe is a new way of thinking because the old way is not going to work in a new world because like that old saying goes, you know, about insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result, but we can't have that anymore. Now to the video. Hey guys, this is Rob again from MacRock Marketing. Today I want to talk about thinking outside the box. This is my kind of my way of thinking. You know, the, like I said in the previous videos, but thinking inside the box and you know, but you're still following parameters, rules, you know, and like I said about the whole money thing and diversifying. Yeah, but you know, people diversify, but it's never really enough. You know, diversify, but, or expand only to a set, you know, to a certain set of parameters, which I think is absolute BS. But now about thinking outside the box. This, I think this is the new normal, the new way of thinking, the new way we have to do things. We just need to like learn to think outside the box. It's the only way that things are gonna work, happen, improve, or otherwise. It's, I just don't see any other way. Because again, with this whole pandemic, COVID, it's a new way of thinking, it's a new way of doing. Everything is gonna change, you know? This is basically like, um, I don't know, like a piece of electronics, whether it's a computer or whatever, it's like a complete reset, reboot, and start all over again, you know? The brand new operating system. It's, this is the way we're gonna have to think now. It's, it's different. And I think the people that think outside the box are the ones that are gonna thrive and succeed in this, in this new world. You know, being like a lemming not, is not gonna work. I've never really been a lemming in my life. I don't like following you know, other people's leads or whatever, just because there has to be a reason. And that's, that brings up another thing about just because, what about people that, you know, just take things at set value and do whatever and uh, do what they want. You know, it's, I don't know, I, I just don't understand it. You know, people have to understand that you need to think for yourself. You can't just, yes, you can follow someone's lead to a certain degree, but the biggest problem I have is when people sit there and talk about, um, talk about, you know, stuff and their lives and how, how this and that and all these outside circumstances make a difference. No, yeah, they do to a certain degree, but at the same time, like everything else, you have to let them. And that's no different than, let's say, for example, a relationship. You have a relationship with someone, it doesn't matter what the relationship is. They can say what they want to you, they can do what they want to you, but at the same time, you have to also let them do that to you. You know, it's it's a two-way street here. People, things happen to people or whatever happens to people and they just blame the other person. Life doesn't work like that. Yes, people can do things, even if they're not nice things, but you know what? You still have the power to not let it affect you. Stop talking about it, walk away, whatever, you know? This is, this is all about thinking outside the box, thinking differently, being differently, all this stuff. Like it's, you know, everything is completely different now and you need to start thinking for yourselves, you know? And what other people say, they say. You know, or you hear other people talk or you say you're going to do something and all you get is negative, negative, negative. Okay, then then if people say negative, 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 but whatever, start talking crap or whatever about whatever you have to talk or whatever you're saying, then you know what? Ask them one simple question. 
have you ever done this before? Oh, and I, and, and I don't care what they've seen here, heard there, heard from this person, heard on the news, heard on the internet, heard whatever. Have they done it themselves? If not, they have no business talking about it. Like, really. That is being kind of rude and bold to, in a degree, to a degree, but that's the way life is. You know? People are always good at throwing out their information, but then they, you know, but, but then they're... Uh, then there's never anything to recall it back or anything. You know, just like people, for example, being an entrepreneur, just like you fail, oh, I knew you were gonna fail, really, you knew that? Then why don't you put like 5,000 or a thousand dollars or a hundred bucks or something, put some money, you know, put some money where your mouth is and then we'll see. Like, you know, and people just need to think differently. They need to be outside the box, they need to you know, do what you need to do to get things done. And you know what? Yes, people say things and you need to kind of listen to them, but you know what? It doesn't really matter what they think. It, 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 this is you, this is your life, right? This is the way you think. No one else can think the way you think. And who are they to say anything? They can't go around telling you how to think, like seriously. Then, you know, you need to, if they're telling you how to think, you know what you need to do? You need to start thinking about, do you really want them in your life anymore? No matter who it is, family, friends, even if it's your mother, brother, father, sister. That might be a decision that you need to make. And as sad as it is, that's just the way life is these days. You know, and going back to, you know, people saying, you know, oh, you, you weren't gonna make it. Okay, here's a few examples for you. Um, you know, and I'll leave one, I'll leave a perfect, uh, perfect picture that I thought of it's um I'll leave it in the link down below I'll describe it and leave it down below but it's um it's about a photographer I'm not sure when he did this but he took over well mind you it's with a digital camera because when I started taking pictures it was with film so it was a lot different but he had his digital camera okay it's about a king it's it's a he took a picture of a kingfisher flying into the water okay and he finally got the perfect picture and the water is calm as calm can be and it's like like a nanosecond probably before the the beak of the kingfisher breaks the water so you actually see the picture of the kingfisher and then you actually see the exact reverse reflection like you know opposite reflection in the water of this kingfisher just as he's about to dive into the water this bird but you know what the thing was and this is good and is that he took he took over seven hundred thousand yes that's seven hundred thousand so seven zero 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 so almost three quarters of a million pictures of kingfishers of them trying to do that before he got the first one or before he got one that was perfect to his liking and like i said i'll leave the link down below and you can you'll be able to see it you actually see the bird, it's like, he's, like, he's like millimeters above the water, if he's even that far. Or, you know, like an eighth, well, for the Americans who, live, who, who uh, deal in Imperial, like we're talking like a, an eighth of an inch, a sixteenth of an inch, maybe. Like it's literally a nanosecond before it breaks water. And he just did it over and over and over again and took it until he got the picture that he wanted. Because my point here is that he never gave up. Another great example is uh, Thomas Edison, who invented the light bulb. You know, he he tried. He had well over, well over, a thousand. I've I've heard reports where they say he tried it ten thousand times, ten thousand different tries at making a light bulb before he got his light bulb the way he wanted it to. But but for certain, there's minimum a thousand. So he tried a thousand different times at a bare minimum to try and get this right. Like how much time, how much money, but he, you know what? In the end, he knew what his goal was. He knew what he wanted to achieve and he wouldn't take no for an answer. And that's what people have to realize. You know, but then all people, oh, this, oh, that, and they make up excuses. That's fear. That is fear, okay? And speaking about fear, my next series of videos, for the following week is gonna be about fear and fear base and what fear does to you. 
So anyways, I'll let you go now and I will uh, see you in the near future. And as always, hit the subscribe button down below and uh, click the bell notification and please leave a comment. I would appreciate that very, very much. Anyways, thank you very much for listening to this series. And I hope you learned something from thinking inside the box and thinking outside the box. And, you know, start, take th tar start taking things a little differently. Stop just listening to what people say, you know, really. Yeah, you can listen to what they say, but then, you know, go research it. Especially with all this COVID stuff. You know, people put all kinds of stuff online and then people just believe it. They don't go look, they don't go verify, they don't anything. They just believe it right away and that's it. Well, that's how all these panic and pandemics start. You know, just like the guy in, uh, just like that guy in Australia who, who spent like over $10,000. Yes, 10,000 Australian dollars. More than that. On toilet paper, on paper towels, on disinfectants, on disinfect or sanitizing, you know, the sanitizer and all that. Yeah, and then he wanted to, you know, he only used part of it and he wanted to bring it back. And they're like, no, keep it because he heard some stuff in the news and just ran with it. He didn't, he didn't think, he didn't, you know, ask, he did nothing. He just heard it and did it like a lemming. And now look at him and you know what? Good, good for whatever store that was that didn't let him return it. Good for them. I'm happy. You know, again, you need to start thinking outside the box and thinking, but thinking outside the box isn't a bad thing. It's just about thinking about yourself and what you need for you instead of taking all these other, pe other people's inputs. Because remember, you are you. You're not anyone else. And no one else isn't you, and you're not anyone else. So, you know, they can give you help. But anyways, anyways, my next series will be about fear. And uh, yes, I will talk to you later. And I hope you have a great day. And again, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and please comment below. Questions, comments, ideas, anything. I will take anything. It's all constructive. Anyways, have yourselves a great day. Goodbye.